On his first day as Treasurer, Josh Frydenberg was keen to show off his close relationship with Peter Costello. Great to be here in Kuyong with my good friend. A year on, the current Treasurer side by side again with the former Treasurer, who has questioned the economic benefits of further interest rate cuts. Well, Peter Costello is absolutely right that the it's a law of diminishing returns once you start to reduce interest rates below a certain amount. The Reserve Bank is widely expected to slash rates to a record low of 0.75 per cent next Tuesday, despite the warning from Mr Costello that it won't be enough to lower unemployment. I, I agree with the independence of the Reserve Bank and them being able to set decisions on cash rates without uh, Prime Ministers uh, uh, offering any external advice to them. Mr Costello, now Future Fund Chair, also had a message for the Morrison government calling on them to tackle trickier tasks like tax reform or pro-competition changes. I think for a decade now, Mr Costello says, we've been pulling these easy levers, interest rates and spending, and we haven't been thinking enough about the hard levers. The Finance Minister says that's already underway. We are absolutely committed to productivity uh, improvements. Labor quick to seize on the intervention. Uh, he's joined the chorus saying this government has no economic plan for the country. Peter Costello also had a message for the Morrison government when it comes to infrastructure, arguing the Prime Minister needs to hold the line when it comes to bringing forward projects, arguing it's a matter for the states to deal with. Treasurer Frydenberg says it's a joint responsibility. Um, the states have uh, particular um, advantages when it comes to infrastructure. That is where great care needs to be taken to choose the right projects but also to, to co-fund them. For now though, all eyes will be on the Reserve Bank next Tuesday. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.